All right, fellow lords of gaming. So I've cleared out my inventory, dropped a whole bunch of shit inside here. And basically what we're gonna do real quick is we're gonna run through these blitz missions to see exactly what we're gonna get from uh, from here. So we're starting at, let's see where are we at right now. Uh, we don't wanna claim that box right now. Um, let's see, inventory wise, we're sitting at 846,000 tools. Let's Real quick. So we're at 846, 320, and we have no battle badges. And you can see I don't have any of the um, what you call it in my inventory either the uh, convergiums. So there's zero inside there. So what we're gonna do is we'll run through Blitz. Let's start off because I usually like to start at the top over here. We're going to get this extra 30,000 gold, so we'll minus that off. But you can see the rewards right now, about a 21,000 gold instead of the 43,000 that is supposed to, that is going to be in the new update. And then we get 450. Now we're getting the convergiums that says five boxes here, but it's only going to be one box in the other. So let's participate in this. Uh, just for those wondering, I'm sitting at about squad rank 151 and power ranking up here so we'll start this battle i don't know we don't need to wait for a fourth Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's turn up this volume a little bit. I don't know why I didn't skip that. <laughs> don't be me, guys. So it's funny, I did get asked about, um, I did get asked about, uh, I did get asked about what the difference between leveling up, like, uh, we're playing Blitz at this level, you know, 1 million power ranking is versus playing with, like, a normal character that doesn't have six star badges and stuff like that i'm gonna do a video for you guys on that one and post it on youtube obviously so i want you guys to be able to see where my ranking at is in these two as well um i can tell you it's immensely different like i said um you know without even doing the video i can tell you immediately that um so I placed first there. I can tell you immediately that uh, the difference is significant, drastically significant. So you can see I got a three star battle badge. I got 21,000, I got five conversion. So the place that we're gonna really dis differentiate here on is conversion because you do have the ability to get those as well, which is weird. I'm just gonna jump on here and start that battle back up. So 450 was a reward, a three star battle badge. And about 51,000 on the first run. I don't know why they didn't change it up so that way you got that gold on every run. That's what it should have been, in my opinion. But it is what it is. So let's see. Mm. I think no, not new players at all. Mm. Like so, if you're playing this and you are not at the power cap, for instance. So let's say like I got the character just base level to 100, uh, past you know level 100, didn't get past uh, you know have any battle badges for you know the Hulk raid or the Tyrant raid, Maestro raid, whatever Blitz, whatever, and we we went in here to doing this. The, the, the power level is extremely different like 
this battle could take anywhere up to you know five you know ten minutes i guess or at least it was like now i just pretty much melt the boss and if i have other people on the team that are like you know similarly power leveled uh, this becomes child's play like you can see it's taking us maybe a minute in total to pass those so i place first again there like i have had the shittiest of luck with this uh with this system as of late so another 450 and there we go with that one so let's go ahead and go back in and retry it So the Convergium is there, the Battle Badge is there. I like, for some reason lately, playing this, I have literally gotten no um, Battle Badges inside here, like in terms of five-star Battle Badges, which is just, <clears throat> it's not been painful. Here goes something also to note about the, the system inside here, and um, I think it's often missed and maybe not talked about. But you'll see some of the top level players and stuff like that and they'll just run by this on solo well that's because the um the hp levels of the villains are basically dependent upon how many players are jumped in so it's basically scaled at least that's the way it appears so for instance like if i went inside the raid and i had to play with four players but i'm playing with one player who's like you know level 70 but or 90 or uh, you know 95 or something like that not quite the same as playing by myself at level 100 with you know my 1 million power ranking it's probably going to be quicker and easier for me to do it by myself than it is going to be for me to do it with a complement of team of players that you know aren't doing anything so you can see i'm dropping all those king's pawns inside here and let's see where i'm at so i'm still in the top right here for power rankings inside my inventory you can see i've collected quite a few I don't even know why I dodged that. So like the the power level, we get four players, so he's gonna be at max po max HP inside here. Is basically the way it's working, right? And so if I don't have like for instance, you can see here with my last two runs, right? That I had players who were staying with me in terms of damage output, meaning you know we were all fairly even. Here you can see I've got two other players inside here that are you know trailing off on the back end. They're about 1.5 million, and then uh, Cannon Blizz is roughly in this. Nah, now you're dead. So roughly in the same vicinity as that, right? But you see how long this is taken by comparison to complete like i'm still doing the majority of the damage here so it's like it's taking way longer in order to complete this one simply on the fact that um i had to do the majority of the damage versus the other players so his hp levels are higher it would have been easier for me to run that match solo and look at that as i talk shit to you guys i end up with this battle batch eh unfortunately probably not that good i don't it, Typically, if I look at a battle badge and I get a five-star battle badge and it doesn't have two course, course, course slots, yeah, that's pretty much a dump. So we'll exit that one. Okay, so we'll jump right into Laufey. I actually like Laufey, uh, the Laufey raid. I think Laufey had some pretty decent mechanics in terms of when you fought him in the story versus, um, you know, not just jump inside this battle. I thought he had some pretty decent mechanics in regards to that because um, his his little status effect uh, freeze mechanic that he had inside there. Where he basically summons the ice water around him and the longer you're in the ice water, it charges up those five stacks basically it charges up those five stacks right and then those five once those five stacks hit you you pretty much get frozen in place and it's detrimental because if you get trapped by him it could be a wrap like legitimately you know like you you, you could pretty much be screwed inside there because he follows that up with two attacks to you especially when he does that grabbing fist and then the slam down and 
if you weren't like at a million power level i survived that no no problem maybe do a quarter of the damage but i remember him doing that even in the story mode even when you go into the level 90 blitz at the power level that you are about there you know somewhere in the vicinity about like probably 350 to 400 000 and you're doing that and he catches you with that and that's a wrap you know what i mean like i think you see the most and the most significant impacts the moment that you hit um what is it like if you hit like uh probably about a hundred thousand over what the recommended power is that's when you start noticing the ease of which you're playing for those like getting hit by something inside the raid isn't there so like that's why i'm imagining that for people that are at the see he just hit me with that shit and you see it didn't really do any damage i was just telling you guys about that stack ability and then he basically got the ice fist crushed off on me and uh there you go again he caught cap and me that time with it you can see i got three inside here and you can see it's not even doing a lot of damage but i can tell you without a doubt at 400,000 power you're doing this and he hits you with that that's about half to 75 percent of your health gone easily fairly easy but you can see it definitely took a little bit longer because there's multiple more of us in there four of us and i'm not getting any good battle badges and i guess this would be the um start that this would be the what do you the the argument i guess for uh basically reducing the amount of time that you're inside these modes is because um yeah, you just kind of locked in. So what difference does it make if you're not getting really good rewards? But I feel like the rewards are going to get nerfed in terms of the Convergium. And that's where we're going to miss out the most on these rewards. Uh, I mean, like right now, I'm basically auto playing these modes for you guys. And you can see how easy they are for me. Um, so is it necessarily a problem? As a player, I would venture to say no. It's not a problem because I'm just... I'm auto playing it. What they should add is a clear mechanism. And what do I mean by that? So we already have like dimension gateway tickets and stuff like that. And if you were to play a game like Marvel Future Fight, for instance, Marvel Future Fight had clear mechanisms inside of it, meaning that, you know, I could basically, you know, we've got story content and, you know, things like that that you need to complete daily. But if I don't want to play those modes, I can legitimately just use clear tickets in order to pass, the, pass those events. So at current, they're trying to get you to pay for, for pass tickets. Like if you were to do um, the battle challenge and you wanted to clear the battle challenge without having to play it weekly, but you've already cleared up to level 30, you can pay like, you know, 200 crystals and that would just clear it completely inside there. Mm. That's all well and good, right? But I don't want to pay 200 crystals. 
Well, inside Marvel Future Fight, if you log into that game and you want to clear daily content, whether it's like story mode functions, epic quest events, heroic functions, dimension challenges, every event, every uh, event inside there could be cleared. Now, you do get a penalty, I guess, I guess in some regards to experience and some of the other features inside there. But overall... Yeah, it is what it is. Like, you get to clear those functions. I think the only thing that you really miss out on is, um, like, they have what are called Dimension, uh, what, what is it called? I played this game so long that I just, like, kind of just, like, <laughs> facilitate it without even, like, really thinking about it. So, it's kind of weird. But they have these, um, it, like, basically, like, you can get biometrics from certain areas, but there you almost have to get that character to appear in order for you to get those biometrics for it so like if that character's not there then you don't get the biometrics like, that's the best way to explain it and so like if you clear ticket it then you don't get those biometrics for the character now is that a bad thing necessarily no because if i don't care about it you know it is what it is like especially if all i really want to do is just clear ticket my way out of it which is often the case like you know today i'm rolling into work a little bit late do i want to play those missions no so maybe instead of playing those missions that's what they're called they're called dimension shift characters so like they're those characters appear and you can play a mode but if i don't want to play it i have clear tickets that you know get dropped throughout the game or reward events and i can literally just use those so that way I surpass, I, I, you know, pass that, what you call it, it's not a big deal, let's see where we're at in our inventory right now, so we're at 47 of 50, you can see the general amount, so I got the one, um, five star battle badge inside here, and we can see I've gotten about 30 convergium level ones, and then the stable convergium particles, so, um, one, what is this, the row is, seven across why do you make it so fucking weird instead of even <laughs> so we got seven across one two three now it's kind of hard to actually say it's because if i um if i like for instance you can see i got these four stars over here the higher the rating the more convergium that those have the ability to drop when you dismantle them right so this is what i mean by like the problem will end up being if I don't get the same amount of battle badges that are dropped at current, not only am I going to lose out, because when you dismantle, remember, you get gold and you get convergium. So if I dismantle all of these across here, how much gold is that going to represent outside of? <laughs> so we got another five star. Um... Yeah, that one will get trashed. Now, don't trash these if this is you. Like, seriously, if you're if you're playing this and you're you're not, you know, you don't have the higher level badges, don't don't dismantle those badges. Not to mention, you should still be keeping a good amount of. Ba I don't think I can show it to you while I'm in here, but like, squad storage. Yeah, I can't do it. Um, you should be keeping a set amount of badges overall for your character in the first place because like um as you play through the game depending on where your power level is at you're going to need battle badges that are at certain levels so you know like i'll like when i was first playing through my second character obviously i used the level 20 and level 30 battle badges now i don't necessarily need to because my squad rank is high enough to make up for not having to use them obviously you know they could help but realistically you know probably more time spent equipping the battle badges than it is um to just bypass it all in all this will all be over soon. also remember the thing the deal with these with having these battle badges as well and getting them is that you can i dismantle these on typically like you know you can see i just go in here i can dismantle and i can select the grade for all of these right dismantling them is an option you can get gold and convergium particles from there but it's not necessarily something that you have to do 
you can actually just go inside there and um, use those to extract and get sin particles. And some people would say that's a better option and choice for it. Um, I'm not going to argue with you about that. I think, you know, that is an option there available to you. Arnhem never stood a chance. Now, I, I would venture to say, and I'm not going to bullshit you on this, just because I know net marble. I would venture to say, like most people have noticed upticks and downticks in terms of, let me start this, upticks and downticks in terms of these the, the drop rate for these battle badges, right? I would venture to say that net marble <laughs> has probably and most likeliness decreased the drop rate on these badges in anticipation of this new update so that players don't feel so misaligned by the update and feel like they're getting nerfed but players are going to notice it overall i wouldn't put it past net marble i really wouldn't i hate to say that because it sounds uh sounds so duplicitous so mischievous so villainous but um I would not put it past Met Marble. Not in the slightest. A simple spell should do. This will all be over soon. Nothing good to write home about there. Like, you notice I'm getting a lot of three-star battle badges and two-star battle badges. So, like, it's weird. All right, let's move on. We're at uh, Nebula. So, normally, I ain't even going to lie to you guys. Normally, this is the point in place where I'm like, I don't want to do this shit anymore. <laughs> so, like, I don't, like, once I hit about Nebula, um, because I'll be honest with you guys, sometimes while I'm doing this, I'll, I will play through some of the missions and stuff like that. But think about it in this way, in this regard, we are 23 minutes in on Blitz right now. 23 minutes. So, <clears throat> take that as you please. Um, <laughs> damn spidey i think he did most of the work there you know what i just realized i haven't even been showing you guys who's been in first place huh no we're about even okay
So I noticed that there's also been comments about, you know, magic. Um, I'll make a separate video about it because this will get lost inside this content, especially with this stream. But um, there's been, you know, with with the Dark Domain release, I know like you had players, you had um, Jolie and Danny Koo and these guys were basically like, hey, you know, uh, you know, we would get the invasion mode and they announced those things. And they announced the magic as the newest character that would be released. But you guys got to remember something. And I would be perfectly honest. This is something that I think plagues the gaming community in general. And that's our rush. It's like, uh, how do I say this? It's like we live in a little bit of an ADHD world. <laughs> and people are clamoring so hard for to get the new stuff because they're so distracted by other stuff. And it puts a bit of a pressure on developers in general because now they're trying to meet the timely demands of the player base, but they don't have time to develop the content. So you have to ask yourself, would you prefer that they have released the invasion mode this month and it not been ready and broken and not address the um, the possible pitfalls that can come from a mode like that and then p people be pissed off? Would you prefer that? I mean, the moment they did the survey, where they were asking for player feedback in terms of um in terms of the magic build players should have already known at that point that we were not getting magic that soon but it seems like people didn't realize that right now here goes another point to that when you looked at the survey i have to be honest with you ain't net marble is not looking for your fucking opinion about what skills you think that they should include inside that inside of you know a build for uh what's her fucking name again magic they not like if they're just looking for it then we're probably like another month and a half away from getting that character released to us because if they were going to go off of what you and i thought about you know magic skill like look at this man i'm putting in all this work and i <laughs> both of these motherfuckers got five stars and i didn't get shit um if they were looking for our surveyed opinion and that just happened this past month, that means that you're probably at least a month and a half, two, two months out from getting that character developed. Because if they were going to really take into account and go, hey, you know what? I care about what Lord of Gaming and, you know, uh, Hafsen and Darth Michael transaction think about what the skill sets for this character should be and what, what it should be reflective like. Well, that means that you're retrying the animations and in the development stages of building that character. Uh, you're either A, you know, <laughs> not prepared for that character. You just really just, you know, just appeasing me. And I, I can't imagine either one. So. That is enough. And then the invasion mode. I'm happy to wait for these game modes. Like, I mean, I want you guys to think about what game have you ever gotten where you just got a release window where it was the first month of release. You know what I mean? Like huh like we and within the first month of release pretty much we are set to get an update to the game that's going to include new content i wonder if this content was just not prepared and ready and it was part of the story in the first place and my feelings about that is because um when we finish the story out every character it doesn't make a difference you finish out the story and you immediately go back to omega flight headquarters and you talk to dr strange right and dr strange um, um you know he kind of gets this vision of himself and he looks you know villainous and um you know ominous too and they kind of give it a precursor where it makes it feel as if though you know he's like this big bad that's coming to rude destruction on us um but it doesn't necessarily feel as magnanimous as like you know us facing off against thanos for instance right so it's like at that point that i wonder like okay what what's the deal here we'll we'll start this battle i'm not gonna wait for anybody to join in challenges what challenge i complete? so i don't want to collect those challenges because it'll um it'll fuck up the squad experience stuff which i forgot to look at but i told you what the squad experience is no matter how you look at it you add up all the squad experience that you can get and it's basically about seven thousand um seven thousand squad squad experience but here we are 30 minutes in 
We're only on um, tier six, I think we're on. We're on um, the red hand, so this would be level 60. So we, we just, I'm still getting shafted like a motherfucker here. Jesus Christ. These three star freaking, that's trash. <laughs> like, in all in all, too, if I'm being honest with you, if you're playing through the game and, um, you know, your first two characters battle badges like, you know, three star, four stars and stuff like that matter to you. But once you get past your first main character, you've played for probably about a month. Because I think within the first month of play, most people were having probably at least a decent accomplishment of, you know, five star battle badges. Um, so this was good. And if you look at my character inside here and you looked at the like the cores in this bad boy or let's go manage my cores. These were the hard ones to get, but they there's a way for you to easily get those now. And that's basically core boxes from completing, you know, uh, extreme raid and ultimate raid at the end of your character's progression. So once you complete the Maestro story event, the Tyrant and Sakaar, you come back to the Omega Flight headquarters. And Tony Stark has missions for you to complete the extreme raid and the ultimate raid. And you could legitimately just jump in on those modes um and they'll give you a core box that's random so you don't get to choose it but you'll get um you'll get a core randomly from those i have yet to get any good cores from there so So you can see how this is pretty much going. A simple spell should do. Like, I can tell you outright, um, in the last 60 days or whatever, how long it's been since they relaunched the game, I can tell you honestly that I've probably missed three or four days of doing Blitz events because Blitz does take so long. We are 34 minutes in and we just completed the hand. So halfway through, in order to play this to play out blitz and we're at 
34 minutes right now and that's to get to the giant rot raid so we still got a little bit of a ways to go and i'll be honest with you guys it's not the most exciting thing to be doing right now like 100 it's it's really not that goddamn exciting to be playing through this mode so we've got about 108 battle badges right now it's not really 108 battle badges because it doesn't account for the rest of my stuff mm. Now, this, this is probably the most annoying Blitz mission for me to run because it seems like this one takes the longest, if I'm being perfectly honest with you. Because you literally go from one area stage to fighting, like, um, these prisoners, right? Um, where we gotta defeat all the prisoners that come at you in waves, similar to the other modes. Um... But then you fight uh, Yellow Jacket and then you fight Yellow Jacket again. And just like it, this one seems way too long. Yellow jacket. All right, so we're at about 40 minutes. Where are we at? 113. So you can see the level one star and two star battle badges are starting to rank up. The lower we get, we're about halfway through and they're starting to rank up. The three star and four star are trailing off quite significantly. We've accumulated roughly 12 and 65 Convergium. So the stable Convergium and the unstable.
So like, I can tell you, and I'll be honest with you, at this point, usually with blitzes, I'm thoroughly bored. Like, thoroughly bored. So, in a, in a nutshell, at this point, as you're playing through and you're realizing how much time these blitzes are actually taking, we're 40 minutes in. 40 minutes in. Like, that's a long commitment. <clears throat> Now, the question becomes, though, you know, sh should they take away? Should they take away these blitzes? You know, and that's the hard part. All right, so we're now getting down to the bottom of the pool. These raids should go quicker than the other ones. Um, I did want to show you guys something too on my character. Somebody did ask me about my Omega cards and um, which ones I use in terms of that as well. Like, you know, um, what Omega cards that I actually play with. Uh, I'll show you guys that. This rate, this this blitz actually goes pretty quickly, so hopefully I can show it to you. Um, I am using a mix of the Dark Zone 5 set right here. That's in there, Dark Zone number 5. And um, the uh, Mid Guardian number 2 set. My intent is, like I've told you guys, to use uh, four of the cards from the Dark Zone set to get defense and HP values. And then to use... Um, two of the cards from here at current i'm using the mighty thor 2011 card but the card that i really want to use is this crossbones card um i did actually collect this card so you guys are aware i did collect this card but uh, i deleted it by accident <laughs> so this is one of the points in this game that i feel like they need to address is that i can't put locked cards into my squad card storage you have to unlock the card well the problem with that is when you take it out of the lock storage it doesn't lock the card back so i think at some point i probably did that where i unlocked the card to put it in storage and then i took it out of storage but because i did that i probably lost it i, I don't really know what i did to fuck that up but i fucked it up like, you know that is enough
Mm. Let me see something. Where are we at right now? So in terms of gold, we're at 1,094, 356, okay. So we've roughly gotten about maybe 200,000 gold in terms of, uh, in terms of this overall, just flat outright gold. So at the most is looking like we'll probably be able to get about um, 250,000 gold from the, um, Okay, so now we've run into a bit of a problem here because my storage is full. So typically the way this would work is I'd have to go inside here and dismantle these. Oh man, let me see something real quick. Expand. Max, it's gonna cost me 18, it's too much. I want to see if the problem is I want to see let's exit this I want to see exactly how much gold we get before we dismantle anything so this is what I'm going to do um squad storage I don't even necessarily have that much room left so you guys can see inside my inventory I only have this four star badge inside here that's there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop off some of these four stars and this five star. No, I don't want to drop off the five star because then that'll get confusing. We'll drop off the four stars and the three stars inside here. There we go. And let's see if that's that'll become enough room. Hopefully, I doubt it. But then let's get back into blitz. We're on 40. Let's go. All right. I was hope, hoping to take some, somebody in there with me, but I'm not waiting. We are 50 minutes into Blitz right now. 50 minutes. And so imagine that you don't have an inventory stack like me because I made the mistake early on of paying for those 50 extra slots. Um... I paid for it. So like, for instance, my inventory, you'll notice that I have 150 slots available to me. I made a mistake 100% of purchasing those slots. It was not intentional. I meant to purchase, <laughs> I meant to purchase slots for the squad storage. And yeah, fuck that up. Don't purchase slots for your characters. Um, the crystals are wasted by paying for slots on your characters instead of paying for them on your squad storage. Pay for them on your squad storage and manage your squad storage inventory and then use the hundred slots across all the other characters in order to manage that. What do I mean by that? Basically, uh, like your five, like, so basically what I mean by that is you're going to basically keep a complement of battle badges for your characters. So the best thing to do is as you're leveling up and playing those missions, which is going to probably put people at a really big disadvantage now because you really if you if you're not part of this already the 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 method of this is going to change so previously right we could run across all of these missions and we could collect battle badges across the whole brand of them so it kind of helps you out right because now i have a means of basically getting the collection sets so let me see if i don't know why i let that play through but if you went to your records and you looked at collection, you can see there's a collection set for battle badges, right? <laughs> so <laughs> legitimately, right? I want you guys to think about that. Right? If I go inside here and I'm doing battle badges and I have these collections for battle badges, but I don't have a reason to play level 20, level 30, level 40, you know, missions for the battle badges uh how am i gonna make those collections i'm not at level 20 long enough where i would continue to play um i'm not at level 20 for instance like so if i go to my collections and i look at these battle badges right damn it let me see let me see let me see Where are we at? This will all be over soon. 
What is that? Oh. So, like, if you go to your collection, right, and you look at level 20, right, and these are the battle badges you need to collect. So, you can see that I still don't have the six-star battle badge for here, here, or here. So, I'm missing out on those battle badges. I just don't have them. I haven't been lucky enough to collect them yet. Am I going to spend the time using five of my battle badges per my battle runs per day in order to collect these battle badges where I'm going to get diminished reward returns? Because then I'm not going to get the 250,000 gold, right? And there's no way for me to get these battle badges unless I get it. The same could be said for like most of these areas. So the only place where I have all six battle badges now equipped is here. Like, do I want to go back down the chain in order to try to get these battle badges? Like, I still haven't even gotten a four-star um, Hulk or a six-star Hulk battle badge from, from there, right? Like, I'm still farming that mission to get it. This is the problem, right? And I don't know that Net Marble is necessarily looking at this, and I think they, you know, they should be. Is that what incentive do I have? Like, the I basically skip you can literally get from level uh you can basically get from level um zero to 50 in a matter of like three four hours of play so if i'm zero to 50 why would i jump into a level 20 a level uh, level 30 level 40 blitz at that point but now i'm locking myself out from getting rewards then i'm cheapening myself off on getting rewards because i don't have the i'm gonna run through those you see what i'm saying guys i don't think that net marble really thought that through in terms of doing it unless they're going to change those rewards somehow i just don't think they thought it through damn it getting stacked again so we're at about a hundred one thousand one hundred and nine so let me do the math over here real quick. One thousand one oh nine five one four minus. Okay. So we were sitting at when I started this off, I was at eight hundred and forty six thousand three hundred and twenty gold. And I'm roughly, so it's already a diminishing return in terms of gold alone. So we already kind of dispelled that. So we know we're losing out on squad rank XP. And now we know we're definitely losing out on gold. Because if you look at the top level mission that's available for you, that you'll be able to run five times, right? I'm not going to be able to run this, I know. We're going to have to exit this and store more gold, unfortunately. This is, this is a pain. Quad storage. Um, let's store, let's store, store. We'll store a few of these. Cause I, there's nothing I can do guys, but to store these, unfortunately. And we'll, I'll come back and collect them and use them. But uh, operations, blitz, and there we go. So we're almost done. We're 55 minutes into blitz right now. 55 minutes. So I explained already that basically at the top level of squad rank XP for the new dimension. Uh, why am I waiting? For the new dimension, the, the uh, blitz, right? You can basically collect uh, from what it looked like. I think it was... Um, what was it? Let me look at this real quick. It was basically a thousand squad rank XP, but a thousand squad rank XP only equates about five thousand. Well, I can collect. I'm collecting six thousand seven hundred and fifty squad rank XP from running all these missions. Um, so that's about a two thousand uh, nerf in terms of the squad rank XP. 
then the gold reward was 50,000 at the highest, right? So if I'm at 50,000 gold and I can only run it um, 105 times, that's 250,000 gold. Right now, I only have three more blitzes to run and I'm already over that 250,000. I'm at 263,000. So it's not enough. It's, it's just, it, it, it's a nerf. We are literally being nerfed in terms of blitz rewards. We're not being, uh, we're not receiving a, uh, a, a, a bonus in any way, shape, or form. Trying to pull up this. That is enough. Turn that volume down. Where is that in the video? Yeah. So I want to confirm this for you guys so that way you can see it in the stream. And God, Jesus Christ, I'm bored. <laughs> Bored in the house and I'm in the house. Bored. Bored in the house and I'm in the And I gotta get the fuck out of here. I gotta get to work. So now we're at the last one. King's Return. We'll participate in this. Yeah, thank God somebody start that battle. So if you look at the stream here with Kim and... Yeah, so here we are. So if you look at this stream... With Kim and a uh, CM Angel, that's what his name. That's why I couldn't remember it. Angel and Asian just sounds so much alike. But we go over here to Chains of the Abyss. Most likely, most players are going to get to 105 within a day. That's just going to be it, what it is. And most players are going to rely on, you know, like me and other top level players joining in on this so that way they can complete this, anyways, right? And I'm inside there, and you see that this is 50,000 gold, but my reward count is five. So if the reward count is going to be five of five, that overall that I can do per day, this is going to be bad. It's going to be bad. What I'm actually hoping for is that the overall reward count is going to be five of five. I think that's what they needed to do in order to increase the rewards. This is not an improvement, though, for what we're looking at. If it's going to be an overall reward count the way it's sounding, meaning that, you know, you get total five missions a day and that's it. And I basically get five for this and five for that. I'm interested to see how that plays out because that just sounds like a nerf to me. Maybe I'm, you know, reading too much into that. But if it's just a reward count, meaning overall, I can only play five missions the way it sounded. That's a nerf, guys. It's 100% a nerf. 50,000 gold. Uh, five th you're basically looking at 250,000 gold. 5,000 squad rank XP. Those are serious, severe nerfs just in, just in those regards alone. Everybody have that goddamn uniform, and I still don't have it. God damn, are you kidding me? Oh, so annoying. Oh, I don't even have room, so I'm going to have to dismantle. I don't have room. Yeah, I don't have room, guys. So I'm going to have to dismantle some stuff. So let's just um, go off of the number right here. We'll start with this number, 1,122 and 500. And you can see that I basically got 16 and 110. Um, so we'll go inside here and we'll dismantle, uh, let's dismantle all our ones. So we've got way more than, so we're going to dismantle 50 one stars. So that came out from 51 stars. Was 63 unstable. And 2,500 gold. All right. So just so that way we have that off to the side. All right. So now let's go back in here and participate in this shit. 
Uh, I don't know who this dude is. Oh, no, no, no. He wants to do Omega War. So I had to dismantle 50. So I got 63 unstable convergiums from that and 2,500 gold. Gold value there wasn't a lot. The unstable convergium was quite a bit. Now you have to take into consideration with that, right? That the 63 unstable convergiums uh, that I got, that's going to be a matter of choice because you can use those in order to... Uh, use conversion i just happen to use convergium because i feel like that's more of the priority but that's not to say that you know getting some of the synchronized particles that you can um you can use to in the conversions box isn't of value as well it's just what i chose to do like where i'm at currently in the game but like i said you know I hope that it's going to be the re I'd, I'd much rather the reward count for each mission be five of five and that we can do them, you know, every all of the missions instead of just being limited to five runs and blitz per day. I don't know if they're just saying it wrong or not. I'm trying to pull this back up because I want to read it. And we're on our last one about an hour in. This is crazy. Okay, so here goes. I think that was my last one. Thank God. An hour later, hour and five minutes, guys, is where we're at right now. So let's just give it take an hour. Jesus, how the fuck he get it? But this is where the confusion is coming in, guys. So you can see inside the dev note, right? It says the current reward count for Blitz for Blitz is three times for each kind, but we will change the system to have an overall reward count for all blitzes this will shorten insignificant and repetitive play so that agents can focus on acquiring battle badges that match their current levels which means that we're getting an overall count of five out of five blitzes that's it so you only get five runs in order to get rewards but then when you read the maintenance notice that's coming out right it says that it improved the blitz reward count to a total of five the daily reward count and charger reward count is going to be reset blah 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 and it adjusts some things right and the acquisition for the reward system five is about the same as the previous reward count system 27 total three per blitz right so 
now that we've finished that up let's go inside here we basically got 1132,000 gold is where we're at let's look at that so 11 three two nine one five um minus twenty five hundred so where's my calculator at in here let's see eleven three two nine one five minus twenty five hundred for the conversion that we did that brings us to eleven thirty four fifteen minus the eight hundred forty six 320 that we started out with and that basically equates to about 220 284,000 so about 285,000 gold is what we accumulated if i'm going to be locked into only 50,000 gold then that i'm not going to get enough gold that's going to make up for the difference inside of there so now we know that we dismantled so inventory we know that we dismantled a few of these already so we dismantled like um 51 stars already and that counts for 25 so we're at realistically we got 16 minus what is it, 63 so that's 25 so we got about 125 unstable conversions and 16 uh stable conversions inside here 125 so you can see that right so what we'll do is let's dismantle all the rest of our one stars inside here let's go so we got 30 more unstable and about 1,250 uh, gold. So that was 1,250. So for all of our one stars, we can basically say that we got 93 unstable and about, what was that? 1,025. So that would be about 3,750 gold, right? For all of our one stars. So that's what we totally got, right? So now let's dismantle our two stars. It says that we can't do two stars, can't do more than 50. So we got some inside there. Let's go. And we're at about. So see where are we at with this? Two stars. I know I can do this math better, but I'm not. I know there's going to be people that do it better than me in terms of looking at it if they haven't already so that's about another 3750 we'll dismantle the re remaining two stars go and that's another 12 and 825 that's 98 total and then 825 on 750 i'm bad at math guys so we'll say 4,500. I'm, I'm bad at math. Now we'll do, we'll go back in here. We'll collect all of the remaining uh, ones inside here. So all of our four stars in here. Oh, we have some two stars in here too. Damn it. Retrieve these. There we go. Inventory. Dismantle. Let's go back and dismantle the two. St well, did we have any one stars? No. So let's dismantle the two stars. Go. So that's adds another 40 convergium onto that. So that's about 138. Plus another 1400 in gold so let's say that's 5925 5925 okay dismantle all the three stars we don't have more than 50 so we'll just dismantle those there we go so then three stars and we got about 31 unstable and 1600 okay 
Now, the four stars we're going to dismantle, but there's one in here that I don't want to dismantle. Where is it at? There we go. So this one right here, I don't want to dismantle that one. So we're going to go dismantle, select all the four stars, and then we'll get rid of that one. So from the four stars, we got 37 and 1875 there we go and then you can see here we basically got these two now this would be hit or miss whether or not you would actually dismantle these to be honest with you the four stars and the five stars i necessarily probably would i would more than likely take those over the conversions box so i'm and i think most people would as well so i'm not going to dismantle those i feel like it it's not really what would happen um so all in all, we're sitting roughly at about, let me see, 1875 plus uh, 1600 plus 5925 plus 3750. So we're roughly at about 13,000 um, gold that we got here. So that's about 13,150 gold and about 284,000 uh, gold overall from this. So roughly, we can tell immediately from this that in essence, we basically got a nerf. If the Blitz is going to play out where we only have a total reward count of five, not for each kind, but five overall, then we're roughly going to make out like where it's going to be a decrease in value for us it's a nerf because we're only going to be limited to 250,000 gold we're only going to be limited to 5,000 squad rank and if i had to go with the acquisition of conversion particles under a new reward count system is about the same as previous reward count system 30 27 total or three per blitz then now if i said that the amount of badge that, that we're only getting 27 well, we know that's not true because I dismantled 50 something one star battle badges inside here, uh, battle badges anyways. Right. And so it's not 27 total that we're getting three per blitz. Right. Um, cause that's what it's saying is, so let's say if they, they really are looking at the conversium as three per blitz inside here. And that's what they were looking at. I don't know how they got those numbers because we were sitting at 16 here, right? three times five would be 15 and then we got over here we were at like a hundred and you know something 25 there so there's no way like we're looking down the barrel at a huge nerf to blitz mode inside there all right guys i gotta get out of here and get to work but that is what it is until next time peace